All right, welcome back. By request, I was asked to take a look at the latest Zorn 12 Ultimate Edition. Of course, Zorn, the popular Linux-based operating system for the last uh, four or five years. It's, uh, it's been designed for beginners to the world of Linux, offering a user-friendly interface. Now, I downloaded it, tried it. It's polished. It looks great. I did a review of the Zorn OS 12 Core. I didn't want to appear redundant in taking a look at something like this again, so I'm just going to give you very brief thoughts on my tests. It installed fine, it runs fine, you can run it off, a, off of a USB stick, no problems if you just want to test it before installing. This has everything, it is truly an ultimate edition of a Linux-based operating system. Now the one thing I noticed here, plenty of apps to get you started especially if you are completely new to the world of Linux and don't know much about how to install things in Linux. If you are into screencasting or creating videos, the media apps, everything that I use is there uh, to create my videos here on the channel. You have a screencaster, you have a video editor, you have a transcoder, you have an audio recorder. There was a couple other things I use primarily for video editing, I use primarily Kden Live, and uh, Kazam Screencaster is installed by default, and it all appears to be working. So, if you wanted to try something new in Linux, and were a little bit scared, try this. For what I've seen, both the Ultimate and the Core should be fine to get you started. You could download the Core, the Core version is free, but then you would have to search for the apps to install. If you're new to this and don't want to don't want the hassle of doing that, the Ultimate Edition is only uh, it's 15 euros. I'm not sure what the exchange rate is in dollars. In, in uh, yeah, in dollars, is it worth it? Yeah, I think so. It's not that much. And if you wanted to learn something new, and who knows, you might like this better than uh, Windows. So make sure you give this a shot. The one thing that has changed, the one thing I'm, I don't like all that well, my opinion strictly, is they have gone into, they've switched to the GNOME 3 or GNOME Shell desktop environment. It looks terrific, but it may not, it may not be quite as user friendly as the previous customized version of Zorin. Strictly my opinion, you may love it the way it is and that's just fine, but in terms of the apps you need, everything you need, just about to get started. Uh, I think it's great, and I did see here there is something called Zorin Premium Support. If you have purchased the Ultimate or Business Edition of Zorin, you can get support directly from the developers. So that's something you I did not know, and that's uh, pretty cool. So yeah, if you are a Windows user, check it out. It's not that expensive, and. Uh, I've always liked Zorn, at least in the past, and uh, who knows, you may like this version of Zorn better than Windows, who knows. Well, that's all I have for this one. If there is something else uh, you want me to take a look at, let me know. If you haven't already, subscribe and consider supporting this Total OS Today technology channel. That's all I have for this one. I'll catch you guys later.